Right, we're going to look at the two different types of samplers and how we can use those. So first off, I've got some um, harp audio file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one note, chop it up using tool, menu, selecting scissors, and then what I'm going to do is really zoom in and just grab it at that zero point just before the transient starts and then chop it off right at the end. Step one. Step two is I'm going to bounce this in place. And what that will do is it will turn that audio region into one audio file here, and that's prepared it for me to then drag it into a sampler. Now, the next step would be just to grab this audio file and drag it into this left-hand side region here where the tracks are usually named. I'm going to drag it over to there, and then I'm going to select there's the quick sampler or the optimized. I'm going to put it into the optimized one, and what that will do is it will scan that audio file for its pitch content, and there you see it's worked out that that note there is actually an E note, and what that allows me to do now is open up the keyboard and play this as a musical instrument. So. As we play lower pitch notes, it will stretch out the note so it lasts longer. And same if we increase, uh, increase the pitch. Now, this sound will start to sound artificial the further we take it from its original root key. So the root key is E3. So there's C3, so C, D, E. That's the original file. So this. Sounds fine, sounds fine. But then if we go to, for example, G4, it will start sounding a little bit fake and digitized. That's the first thing. Once we've got that, we can edit the filters, we can add amplifiers to it, we can add overdrive, um, as well as you know, we can open up the inspector and add all of the usual effects that we might normally use. So that's the quick sampler, which is going to be useful for melodic instruments and things that you want different pitches. The next sampler we're going to look at is the drum sampler, or the drum designer. And we're going to use that for this tablet audio file. And real simple, we're going to do the same thing as before, we're going to grab our audio file. We don't need to bother editing it, because it will, logic will do that for us. So I'm going to drag it over here and then select drum machine design. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a software instrument for me where each file, each transient, has been chopped up and allows me to play it back on an individual key. For example, this one here is this note here, C1. I'm going to open my keyboard and go to C1. Now I can choose a fade in for that particular note or a fade in or a fade out I can edit the start and the edit and all that logic did is it analyzed the whole audio file and each individual transient got snipped up and placed on a different key on our keyboard starting from C1. So here's the original. Once you have that, you can then use it as a MIDI instrument. You can also um, treat your files differently. So for example, this one here. I can go over here and I can play it reversed. And that's the drum machine design. So if I want to draw in my own MIDI, just delete that one. Control click. Didn't need to do that. Control 
Control click, create MIDI region. Double click on that region, and now anytime I join that. Same as with everything with MIDI, you can increase the velocity. And that's it. 